Okay, folks, uh, what we're going to cover next is, and I'm saying this for the recording, I just told my class live, so my class live, you're going to hear this twice. Uh, we are going to cover how to turn in work on github.com, uh, which is called committing and pushing your work. Committing and pushing. And so I'll just start up Visual Studio here. And if you guys want to follow along, feel free. Um, if you've already created a Chapter 2 solution, which will be called ch2.sln, go ahead and open that. And you'll notice I've created a Chapter 1 solution, a Chapter 2 solution, a Chapter 3 solution. Um, so for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to put some work, uh, instead of chapter two lab, I'll put it in chapter two homework for me. Cause I already have something in the chapter two lab folder. Okay. But, um, for you, for, for, for everyone in the class, I want you to work inside of the chapter two lab folder. Okay, that's where I want your your work to be uh, for this uh, for today's uh, work. All right, uh, I'm going to create a council app, and again, so I want I'm going to put mine in the homework folder, chapter two. So I don't want to select the chapter two folder. I'm just going to select the homework folder. You'll notice the location is now in the homework folder. And if you remember from Friday, what we name our solution is just the name of this folder. The solution in this case is going to be chapter two. Okay. That way it puts it inside of the chapter two folder. And I'll just call this demo one. So again, a solution can have multiple projects. This is going to go inside of the chapter two folder inside of my homework. The only difference is you're, this is going to be the lab folder instead of the homework folder. Click create. So you could you do your homework and say homework completed. So so obviously, you know, the changes that you make here are um you know, the work that you're doing. That's the important part. Now, over on my right-hand uh, side of the IDE of Visual Studio, I've got this section here called Get Changes. I've got this window. And interestingly, interestingly enough, it's picking up all my Chapter 1, my homework, my lab it's picking up all 134 changes uh, that I've made and so you might be the same what you want to do is you want to turn in your work on a daily basis and so let me let me kind of take a step back here what we've all done to this point is we've created a github.com folder or what they, what they call a repository, but it's a folder. It's a folder on github.com with your work. Okay, and then we created a clone of that on your laptop. On my laptop, I cloned the directory right here on my desktop called C Sharp Coursework EA Gudmisted. Okay, so all of you have a folder on your computer with this directory name. Okay, and inside of that you have some work. 
now I made a mistake here and I put this in the wrong spot. That's why that chapter one is showing up. I That should have gone inside of here. That was my mistake. I can move that and I'll show you how to fix that. Um, you won't have that same mistake, so you won't have to fix that, but I'll show you how to fix it. Okay, so this folder is a local, what they call clone. It's a local clone. What I mean by local is it's on your computer of an online repository. So you have these two folders that they need to stay in sync. And when I've made changes to my local copy, it's not in sync with my online copy. So when I'm looking at Visual Studio, when I'm looking at these 134, these are all the changes, 134 changes on my local copy that is not updated on the github.com copy. So what I have to do is I have to save all my local changes. So when you see this word commit, this is essentially saying save my save my changes locally okay so a commit is a local save point okay commit has nothing to do with online commit is a local save point for saving all of your changes and so you do commit so you can have multiple local save points that you can revert back to okay i haven't done any commits yet so it's seeing a whole lot of changes that i'm going to store on this commit these messages are important, uh, the commit messages. So this will be first commit of chapter two work. And I could say chapter two lab work. Again, what a commit is, is a local save point. But there's also a commit and push. What a commit and push does, a commit saves the local work. A push takes the local save and all the changes and it pushes it up onto github.com. It makes the changes be reflected on github.com. So I'm actually going to select that, commit and push. And it says one outgoing, writing objects, successfully pushed to uh, what's called the master uh, clone, if you will, origin or master. Okay, so I'll close that message. Now, what you always want to do is you want to double check by going to github.com and then you click under my repository. So you click your profile here, your repositories. And you should see this is not this is not my local repository. So let's go to here. There you go. Okay, now, so this is what you'll see. And you'll see that this was updated one minute ago. This chapter one folder wasn't there. Now it is. The homework was updated one minute ago. And the lab was updated one minute ago. So what you want to do to double check your work is you go to github.com, you actually look at your repository on github.com and you want to see that your commit message is there and you could actually dive down into lab. You can see the chapter two work is there. You can actually see these folders and these solution files that I've created. Okay, and this is going to be what I'm working with the rest of you this morning on getting to this point, okay, where you can do a commit 
and it's on your repository and I can see that. That's going to be how you turn in your work to me. Okay, so we got about an hour of class left and I'm going to go through each student and make sure that you can all do a commit onto your online repository. Well, yeah, you know what? I think under my repositories, the reason why they're not showing there, like mine didn't show there either, because this is a classroom, a GitHub classroom account. Um, and so what, you, what you'll probably have to do, um, were you able to access it another way besides under my repositories? Because mine wasn't there either. I just had to... Were you guys, yeah, search or jump to? Okay, good. So like I did, I had to find a repository and I just searched for, EA Gudmestead and I found these that were created under GitHub Classroom. So you guys have that ability to search. But in short, were you guys able to find your repository? Yes, no. It looks by searching or jumping to. Right, right. It doesn't show up under your repositories because you didn't create it. That's correct. It was created under uh, the classroom. My question for the class is, you're able to find it, though. You're able to find it under github.com. It wasn't under my repositories. Okay, good, good. Zach says yes. Okay, now sometimes in the class, you know, you're going to submit work to me, but then I'm also going to provide feedback on your repository. So I might update, you know, some code. I might put a grading rubric update. You know, I'm going to do updates as well. So I'm going to be able to update your online repository. And when I update your online repository, you are going to have to do a pull. So a push is when you take your changes and push them up. A pull is right here. So, so just as a future reference, if I make a change to your online repository, you're going to need to pull down those changes before you can do any other pushes. Yeah, now these tabs, I have this Get Changes tab. Um, If you click under view, for example, if you accidentally close this or if it's not there for whatever reason, you click on view, here's get changes. So that'll reopen it up under view, get changes. Yeah. So if you accidentally close it or, you know, I think you can right click and close it right here. Um, if you click view, get changes, it puts it right back. So it's kind of in this collapsible window off of view, get changes. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording there. That's just the basics of submitting your work to me.